Andrew McGann for Severe MMA here at Cage Kings 3 standing alongside a victorious James Gallagher and James one like I know you have a very very strong relationship with John he put you up you've been living with him but there was a moment just after that fight John came into the cage the embrace that you give him was unlike anything I've seen before you even got a wee kiss on the cheek from him <laughs> as well but it, to me that win meant a lot to both of you yeah it's just so much I mean I've been with John now since I was like 14 and living with him and he's like whatever I need or anything that I, anything I need he does for me and like helps me so much and like it guides me in the right way and training and gives me the correct advice and and you just appreciate that so much you know what I mean this is what I do and he's helped he's got me here and hasn't asked for anything in return only that I show up and fight and train hard and want to learn in the gym and help out my teammates and that's all he asked for and I'm like so appreciative of that and that's that's why I can't imagine what it must feel like to be on a path yourself after having seen others walk the road before you do you know like we're seeing Connor's path now the ultimate rise that he's had in the UFC and for a guy now it's almost like everything you are saying is coming true as well yeah it is I can just see it, you know what I mean? Like Connor, he's a he's a he's at the top of his game now. He's gonna whip all these guys, get the whip hosey, go in the lightweight, take over all them air. And then me, Kiefer, Lee, Ellie, all all these we I'm going then to fill his shoes. I've got big shoes to fill. And I'm going above that. I don't want I don't wanna be like you know what I mean? Everyone's like, uh, like you see what the success Connor's. I think he's top of his game. He's fucking, he's the greatest fighter of the world in the moment. I don't, I don't want to be that. I want to be better. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm striving for better. So I'm watching what he's in the gym, and I'm trying to go for better. And that's what, that's what, that's what I feel. I want to do. I want to go better. And I just have to show up. It was a big knife for me because I've loads of injuries after this is probably a, the most delayed pro debut like you've been ready for a while but just an injury a pull out an opponent pulling out just little things building up here I, s I don't think it was only that my mag gave me like a, a message one day I wouldn't have been fighting tonight I've had loads of injuries and haven't been able to haven't been able to train and she sent me a message one day she was all just embrace it and get through, get this over with, iron nice money tonight. Um, that's what I've done, and so, so now I'm going to get my injuries fixed up and then I have a few people at the end of the year that I'm going to take out. That's what I was going to ask, you are booked uh, currently for December. Do you think this will put it off or it's just a couple of weeks out and then back in? I'm, I'm going to get my body fresh and my mind's unbreakable. and I, I've got people to take out at the end of the year. You said one thing there, these guys here, I witnessed this firsthand, KHK MMA over in Bahrain. The setup, the facilities, the way you were treated over there, even the people that strung along for the trip were treated like royalty as well. There's no secret anymore, it's like a, a, a fight for KHK and it's such like a, an honour to represent Bahrain and the KHK team and I'm so grateful the Prince of Bahrain has like looked after me. I'm me and Franz Malambo and I'm going to go there now and train. Are you heading out there now recently or uh, soon? I hope so. I See hope the so. camels again? Yeah, I go riding camels and stuff, but I hope so. No, I mean, I, I got to give back to the team that has signed me up and I'm forever grateful that, that I got this opportunity. It's just it's brilliant. I'm fucking, do you know what I mean? I'm, since I was 13, I've been fighting fucking 21 year old men and now I just to turn professional, get my first professional win. And I like all these injuries, I meant to fight no two and I hurt my knee. And then now I fucking had all her injuries coming in here and and I just get fucking through them and that's it. Do you know what I mean? It's just nice to overcome these things and and do it and just thanks ever to my team, the KHK, John Kavanagh, Kiefer, my parents who for they like support me and all my family is I, I kinda put it kind That's of the most words. interesting point for me. Since fifteen uh, going on 16 sent you up to Dublin no problem live with yeah. John they, they're the ones that have got you here yeah. as well I just love my man daddy business folk you know what I mean they, they stand out there you know what I mean support me come to Cork here for the weigh-ins cook all my food bring it with me I wouldn't have fought tonight if it wasn't for my man so she I, I told her like 
I was in John's office nearly in tears. I was training and got an injury and it just kept going on. And I messaged her and was like, you know, it's happened again. And and she wrote to me and was all like, no matter what, just work around it. There's always, you know what I mean? There's always different ways to get around things. And, and I'm so just appreciate the everything to do for me. I can't be enough, but it's, it's nice now, Aaron. Nice money tonight, and I'm going to pay them back. Well, then finally, James. Um, if if I say a very calm, composed pro debut, uh, you look at the guy who's seasoned pro in there, very calm, very confident. I have a feeling this. I'm not going to say a new James Gallagher, but even from when we spoke in Bahrain, there's something different about you. Yeah, yeah there's a, fo- a laser focus, yeah. the appreciative nature. I think this is all going to come into a perfect yeah. storm, and hopefully, this is the first of many uh, interviews in your pro yeah. career. It's just. I see it for what it is, do you know what I mean? And I appreciate that people are putting in so much time into me that they don't they don't have to. They don't have to do, you know what I mean? They could be like, oh, you're just training, you know what I mean? It's all right. It wasn't that long of a drive from Dundalk. I, I come down here. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're always here, Andrew. I'm, a, I'm just, you know what I mean? They do, parents and John and... I give them nothing back. Do you know what I mean? What well, they don't have to do anything. So that's why, and they, but they do. You know what I mean? They, they, they give me so much, and that's it. And I just focus on training and my fights for what they are. They're, you know what I mean? It's a sport I enjoy. And I just show up, fight, and now I'm making money, and it's nice. Lovely, James. Thank, Thank you very much. much. See you soon. Cheers.